If you're not first, you're last. Four speed if you can't reverse. More knickknacks than your mother. <laughs> Breaking itself in half. There goes another. Oh my. Oh my gosh. I got it. Okay. How you send Ryan a big enough for here? Half ball. Thicker than them girls in the music videos. Mm. That good? <laughs> we may have to go with a smaller ball. Don't jump. I got a fragile behind. Man, hammer. You're telling me. That could have been bad. Brittle beans. So bad, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh my god, jeez. <laughs> that does. <laughs> what are you doing, Ralphie? Yeah. You little booger. You're such a good boy. <laughs> Oh, it died on us. What do I smell burning? Ah! <sighs> Think we can get it back home? Sing around, sing around. I'm not gonna make it to push. I need to get out and push here. And if I had to jump out and push every so often I could. I could stay out and push. I can run. No. Sorry, it died again. We're just coasting. We're gonna get in the ditch here. Let's call Mike. You remember that time you rescued us off the side of the road? Don't mind us. I know what's wrong with it. I ain't got no game. <laughs> oh lord welcome back to the sleeper dude youtube channel me and ralphie are here gonna work on my my ford truck that's right it's mine he's finally let me have it now that he's got his corvette so we ordered some parts and it's been six months or something since uh we started working on this so we're gonna get some things cleaned up we're gonna try some of the suggestions you guys left us in the comments about how to get the rust stains off the glass so hopefully we can get that cleaned up and looking pretty good. Got some new stuff ordered that we're gonna add on it. See if we can't get this thing back on the road, really on the road. Got a new shifter and a shifter install kit. We're gonna do some interior work. We're gonna do a little bit more cleanup work on the windshield and stuff like that. We got some new headlights that um, are gonna look pretty good in it. Yeah, that's what we're gonna start with. What year's the truck? Oh, 70-ish. It's like, isn't it a 76? You're 73? I think it's 73. 73. I think it's 72, but there's a lot of 70s going on around here. What engine's in it? 302. 305. 302. Hey! Mom, for the score. I guess we better see if she'll make it into the shop so we can get to working on it. Long wait, no bees in here. What's this block of wood for? Probably to go between your feet and the pedals. You see any bees? Y'all trust Mom to drive? Hey, Y'all remember what happened last time Mom drove one of our cars, right? Hey. Cider chip. Right. Press Wait. You gotta put the clutch Call in, bro. Down. Almost. No, I like give it gas. We don't need three feet on this. The... All right, let me give it some fuel out here. It may be dry. I think our bowl may have got dry sitting here. Just because she smokes don't mean she's broke. And they're off. Oh, oh, oh. There is too much stuff in here. <laughs> oh, dear, so Jesus. This is not going Oh my gosh, she's driving so fast. We're excited to be working with Omaze to give you a chance to win an 87 Buick Grand National GNX and support a great cause, the ACLU. All you have to do is go to amaze.com slash sleeper dude to enter for your chance to win. Omaze launched with a mission to transform typical charitable giving. To date, Omaze has raised over $150 million for charity with a goal of raising over $1 billion in a single year. They're giving away this sweet 1987 Buick Grand National GNX. It's number 51 of only 547 produced with only 2,000 miles. It's got an approximate retail value of $185,000. And you know I love my 80s cars. 
Now, if I got this thing, I'd have to be turning the boost up, tweaking some stuff. I don't know what you do. You may want to leave it exactly how it is, which is the thing you probably ought to do with it. So for your chance to win this 87 Buick Grand National GNX, go to amaze.com slash sleeper dude and enter now. Donations support the amazing work of the ACLU. So big thank you to Amaze for supporting our channel and allowing us to do what we do. Now let's get back to the video. Oh Lord, man. Bad man. Where's your brakes, woman? I hope my brakes still work. It's smoking. You wreck. Gosh, I can't even see. <laughs> Oh, almost. I can't even see out this windshield. The oh, sun. the sun? Yeah, you can't see? I shot out and hit the building. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, you're good. You're done. <laughs> you were nervous. I could see it coming in the building. I was super nervous because the brakes. They're manual brakes. Are not the bestest. And the throttle seems like it's hanging up. So I'm thinking the throttle's going to be hung up and I'm not going to get it stopped. And then you did a good job. Be the, it's going to be like two disasters in one week. Yeah, that would be. Did you appreciate the universal signals yes, there? I appreciate that. You guys like riding in it? Yeah. He's it telling me that, doesn't hang up. It's just like, oh, it just like stays there. He's telling me the whole time how I can't drive. It may just need a better return spring. I mean, that's what Wawa thinks. She just yeah, wants to flip her hair. But he's telling me the whole time how I can't Don't, drive. Well, you how, can't I thought, drive. I thought you could drive a manual, all this. The whole time mm. is all I'm hearing. All right, well, let's get started on this thing. You didn't fall in love with it. It's a beauty. There, did you? I, I, I forgot how much I liked it. Well... That's what happens. Every time we work on one of the ones that's been parked, it's like, why have we not been driving I this? I love these big mirrors right here. What do they call them? Tow No. Uh, I remember the commenter saying it's a certain type of mirror. I, I can't wanna, remember what it's called. I don't know why, but I just want to, I want to take, just like paint this part of it, like a bright light or something. So like, sticks out. I don't know. I think we need a little smoke be gone. We have a bottle of smoke be gone. Ralphie's been dying We're to use gonna, it. Where is it? So if you haven't watched the other videos of this thing, it was parked for 16 years. My wife paid too much money for it. Mm -mm. And at the beginning, Ralphie and mom were kind of arguing over whose it was going to be. There's at least one family of birds that are homeless now because of this truck when Ralphie drove it the first time. But we got it run after 16 years. Um, I just got it. Yeah. Are you okay? That you have a homeless bird family? You gonna make it? You gonna recover? We're hoping that the smoke is from barely driving it. It's only been driven around our yard. We never drove it out the road yet. So we've only got first and reverse is the only gears we've had. So we've just drove around the yard. And you know, if you're not first, you're last. Exactly. So we're going to try to get into the last gear. We also got some retro bright headlights so we can see at night driving this thing. You know, mom, when she's whatever, going to pick up goats at night, whatever she does, this will help out. A lot brighter than the fact that there's LEDs, so they, they draw less amps, all that stuff. Like Wawa says it's lead. Yeah, lead lights. Yeah, Wawa does say that. So the big thing we got for this thing, we got this shifter like right after we did the last video six months ago. But the install kit was on back order. So that's why we've been waiting. Look at this bad boy here, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Hurst, son. We need Miss Hurst, Hurst Goldenrod shifter. We need her here to show us. But... Hey, it's four speed if you can't reverse, okay? So we got the Hurst shifter for it, and then you get the install kit, because this, this shifter will fit any three speed, I guess, and you buy the install kit that's correct for your vehicle. I'll put the part numbers in the description below. So it has all your brackets and linkages to hook this thing up. This is back when transmissions had the linkage on the outside of the transmission on these manuals. We also need to get the gas tank out of it, clean it out so it's pulling from its own tank. Mom wants to do some fancy stuff with the interior. So, I guess, let's get started. I feel like you should buy shorter vehicles. It barely fits in our building. The Fairmont fits just fine. They don't make them like the used to. Like that, so. I guess so. So, what do you plan on doing with your interior? I would like to put, like, a new headliner in it that might be, like, cow print. Cow print. Aggressive. Yeah. If, I can, if I can do it, maybe cover the seat with, like, cow print material. Would you ride in it? Hey, I'll go anywhere with you, honey. There you go. Does this have a trailer hitch ball on the back? Can you tow? Uh, she does. I bet she does. 
Yeah. It might pull your, your little goat hauler, huh? Yeah. It does. It just doesn't have a trailer hitch ball. Okay. You were literally breaking the speed limit out on the main road going across her yard for hey. this thing. Hey, don't let no grass grow on there, I'll tell you what. <laughs> gotta get your priorities straight. We gotta go to Hobby Lobby and get <laughs> material for this. Pretty nice big tin back there. Really good shape. I do have a sister. She's right here. So we're gonna see if we can find some material for these seats. Think they're gonna have cow print? Uh, they better. This is like. I thought you'd want something furry. What, eight down there, what's that? Isn't that oh, what you're wanting? Heart. Your heart? Is it, oh, what's it feel like? So good. It's, it is a brown truck, so. This is it. That'll work okay. I think that'll be perfect. I don't even want to hear Look it. Look how cute. I could do that. Wawa, you got enough crochet stuff. I know. <laughs> Look at him hanging down. He's so cute. <laughs> that poor cow. Oh. <laughs> That's $130. I told you it wasn't cheap. Well, you wouldn't lie. This may be the only place that has more oh. knickknacks than your mother. <laughs> That's good. They have Crocs here? <laughs> what? You didn't bring your envelope? Yeah, I got your envelope. <laughs> I bought Fairmonts for less than that. This looks better than the Fairmonts on the So now we got the hard part done going to Hobby Lobby. I find it offensive that you haven't put the hubcaps on this thing yet. I don't know about any of our viewers, but why would you have a set of caps for a vehicle as such as this and not put them on there? Because we had the caps to put on. Yeah, Uncle Twist gave them to you. Oh, I'm gonna tear into this, start doing the shifter stuff, I guess. There's 23 parts here, and here's the instructions if you'd like to do no, it yourself. Let's do headlights first. Wait, can you follow that, Dad? He ain't gonna follow none of it. I'm not even gonna look at it, probably. It's right here. <laughs> Easy. Oh, these are, this is her, so it's built tough. Look at that plate. So this should bolt to the side of the transmission, and this is like, does first, reverse, second, third things. So this is your brand new boot to go once we cut the hole in the floor. You gotta cut a hole in the floor? How else do you put a floor shifter in? Oh. Are you gonna jump out and get under there and shift it or something? Oh, I didn't really think about that. <laughs> Can you not wait to tear that off, please? Wow, look. It comes off easy. I've gotta take these headlights out and put these new ones in. I don't even know where to start. I don't know if I take all this off or... What crap am I gonna do? <laughs> what you don't do is do the adjusters. There's adjusters and then there's screws that hold it in. Okay, so, so which ones do I do to take look, it out? Look, here, look. These shiny little short ones here. Okay. Are, hold the ring on. See the tab for the ring? These are adjusters, so you don't do them. There's, there should be two adjusters uh, with the green. Okay. And then the shiny, take the shiny screws out. It should be like okay. three or four right. shiny screws. I can do that. Oh, we don't even have headlights? I don't know. I don't know. I've never I, used I got the orange lights up top. Neither one of the headlights is working now. Nope. No. All right. Oh, I don't need to grill. Shut up. What, what about these wires? Mine plugs in like a house plug. It'll plug right in. It'll plug right into this. Unplug that. Give it a wiggle. Oh! Here, huh? Looks a little melty. Oh, these say Holly on the wind. That's cool. Stop hey. it. Yeah. Clean the contacts, sir. Look, they plug in just like the factory ones, but it's all LED in there. Look how nice it looks. Does that look okay? Uh, we'll see. Give it a wiggle as you go. Right, let's see if it works first. Ooh. Nope. So we have a power supply problem. I guarantee you there's no power coming to this. We're gonna have to figure out what our power supply issue is. Oh, hey. Is that a spider? Yes. There's a big wasper's nest. Can you see it back here? I see you, buddy. I'm pretty sure that this one isn't even screwed in. It's held in by this wire. Papaw's wires are in there. Alright, I'm done. The screws weren't coming out or something? I don't know. It had wires and stuff around it. I don't know what the problem is. Where'd you put your other screw? You know? Nope. 
Well, now my bucket over here didn't come out like that. Yeah, it's because your adjusters and stuff are all messed up. Our theory is that this is why this thing got parked. If you see the hose clamp around it and all this other junk, I think the shifter just went out on this thing and they tried to fix it and couldn't and they just parked it. Because we don't see another reason why it's parked, aside from maybe it smokes a little bit. First time I drove, we only had first gear. And I just crammed it up this way and I was able to get reversed. But look how high a position that is. So it's all, and you can't get into second. It won't even let you go forward into second or third at all. That's why we're getting rid of this whole setup here. Mama water floor shifter, you know? I'm good at them banging them gears. Just ask Super Coop. Oh, I'm gonna abandon the headlights and start trying to clean the windshield. Pull the shifter up and down. So that's reverse, and that's first. The front two are second and third, and the back one are first and reverse. Okay, I'm gonna pull all these rods off here now. So I took these C-clips out of here. They were really super easy to get out. So we're just gonna delete all this factory stuff here. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, is it on me? This is. Mostly out. Zero, 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 still wool. Get that to Dollar General. I can't remember. And fill it on there. So I had a bunch of guys comment, say that the CLR would take the rest off, especially with the steel wool. Let's see if it's made any difference here so far. Oh, you can see there. it. You can see like the foam that's coming off is already like, a different color from the inside. Oh yeah. Look how dirty my thing is. That windshield you couldn't see through it, could you? Mm -hmm. No, it was terrible when I tried to pull in the shot and the sun was wearing on it. I was like, Lord's day. Look at it, it's taking that rest on <laughs> We should have done this in the cleanup video, huh? You and Ralphie? Yeah. If you're wondering where Ralphie is, he's visiting with my mom today. She's in town. That's gonna make a huge difference. You're sa you saved that windshield. Look, it's good. Well, like looking through here, they you can, can see, see it. It's brown on this side and it's clear on that side when you look through the back glass. Oh, wow. Look at the difference in the middle. That's incredible. So just CLR and some steel wool, huh? Yeah. So that looks a lot, lot, lot better. You can definitely see through it good now. So thanks guys for all your tips and, uh, about the steel wool and the CLR. It does work very really well. So these are 9 sixteenths. These things are rusted up. Oop. I think it'll look good with this like, white piece of trim around it too. I heard a screw hit the ground again. <laughs> You've worked on two things now. I'm going to need a bucket or something. You got to learn how to catch them screws as they fall. Okay, okay. I would leave the two middle screws in the front and back and okay. take all the rest. And that way it doesn't start like breaking itself in half. There goes another screw. Oh my gosh. Where'd it go? I don't know. You got, you got I'll, like, I'll let you, you got to like hold I'll it. I'll let you do your side. You got to like have your hand under there. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me. There we go. Okay. Did you see that? Did we lose that one as well? 
Oh, hmm. found it. Oh, it's it went behind the seat now. Oh, he's done running big enough through here. Hi, Paul. Come on now. Come on, you little bugger. These are like completely rusted onto these rods. I keep having to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wait, wait, I got it. It's like two washers on the outside. Okay, so we got our new shift linkage in there. This stuff is super thick, by the way. That's thicker than them girls in the music videos. We got all this tightened up now. It has a provision to hook up your factory reverse and first rod, so your reverse lights work, I guess. But I don't think I'm gonna use that since our column's all screwed up. Now we gotta get our mounting bracket on. So I've gotta unhook this speedometer cable here and it goes through the bracket. There's a hole for it. So you just unhook it, put it through the hole in the bracket, hook it back up. And we gotta loosen these big two bolts here. And you just reuse those bolts too to install your bracket. Hey, it wasn't stuck in there. This little gear right here is gonna get a workout while I'm driving. I'm trying to get this back window clean, and I need Ralphie. We do need Ralphie He for could this. lay down right up here and clean it. In the words of George Clooney, we're in a tight spot. We're in a tight spot. So these are 5 8 Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to need a drain pan. At least it's got fluid in it. So now we're gonna bolt on our bracket here. Actually, the bottom bolt hole is adjustable, so you can kind of tilt the shifter, I guess. This guy sure to love the fall. Look how similar all of them look in color. I know. They all look like Rocky. <laughs> they first start falling, they love it. How's Granny chewing these? She just gums them. <laughs> is that good? So me and Ralphie here are gonna start on the headliner. Maybe he can trace this, we'll see. How did Dad cut this last time? Well Dad. Oh, great. Your feet are terribly dirty. You get it? Um, it's right here. Okay. It's okay, buddy. We can see it. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Since we already put so much money into the fabric side of it, I wanted a straight board. And this plywood, whatever, backer board, whatever. Plywood. It's only $14 a sheet, so. I'm always going to test fit it here to make sure my cuts are okay. So I got the new chip cones on. Oh, you did? Yeah, and then I've got the bracket for the shifter tool. So I've about got it notched out, good enough for who I hang out with. We got our speedo cable back hooked up. We got our brace here. There's a brace that goes over to a bolt on the other side of the transmission case. So now you go from this top mounting hole of the shifter straight up, and that's where you drill your hole, uh, hopefully. Woo. Well, that should work out good with the seat, I think. It's about the right spot. Where that hole is so i'm gonna go ahead and get the cutoff wheel of death and cut that out Meow. 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 kind of guessing at the dimensions here don't be guessing i think that'll be enough or at least more than enough How it goes? Hey, sir. Oh, Lord. Okay. When's this stopping? Woo! Now that's adjustable. We can make it angle different ways. Yeah. You might need a little, a little forward. That would be fine, right? I don't know. That's probably fine. You're going to have to stop moving for me to bolt it up, one thing. Which way do I need it? Just leave it still. You going to be grinding them gears? No. We should drive this. We will. It's like a finger width from hitting the seat on first, but that's fine. It's not. You haven't put it in first yet. No, before I did. No, it. you were just sliding it on well, the adjuster. <laughs> we'll have to pull a pin to see that. I think the height is good, though, don't you? Yeah. I'd 
be like right here if I could, but okay. The ball is kind of large though to really get a good grip on. That's the only thing. We may have to go with a smaller ball. Hey, why don't we get the air hose and blow it off? Okay. Okay. We're good. Is it on there? Yeah. Wear shoes. What is all this? It doesn't go on it. It looks like I got it. Does that fit yourself? It's fine. I cut it. Let's get it. What? How does it cut short? It's cut short. It ain't cut short. Yes, it is. Look, look at the outline. It's cut short. I'm about to rip your ears off. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Is the baby falling off? Whoop. Got to swallow. Little froggy. Ew. Ew. Ah. Ah. He's over there. He's under the rock. Come here, little guy. No, Grab him! Please He's quick. Little guy. Little guy. Hi. That's his name. Hey, oh, little guy. Wait. No, where is he? I don't see him. In my hand. Look at the little guy. Hey, little guy. That's your name. Don't jump. Ah! Okay. Leave Are you him. okay? Leave him. Bye. So basically, the way you set this thing up is you leave the little plastic pin in, which locks them into neutral. You make sure your levers are in neutral. This has like a infinite adjustment here. So you adjust these in until they're centered up in these holes and then you should be good to go on your shifter and you can adjust your stop points after that. You know, pull it all the way back into gear and adjust this, put it all the way forward and adjust the other one. Okay, that's reverse. That's first. That's second. It's really smooth. I thought it would be more clunky than what it is. That's really smooth, actually. Can I do it? Yeah. First, it's pretty smooth, isn't it? It's like yeah. smoother than I thought it would be. Okay, so it's all the way forward. I'm gonna adjust this until it touches. Quit it, boy. He's touching me through the floor. Yeah. Hey, figures. Reverse is right here. We got first, we got second, we got third. So you don't start off up here. Cause it'll be going backwards. Yeah, just saying. There we go. That's just touching the rods. Should be just perfect. Get your fingers out of here. Tighten the jam nut down and uh, we should be good to go. Pull it down in the first, Ralph. That's all the way down. Pull it next turn. Yeah. Put it through the gears, Ralph. You see how it feels. Reverse. Reverse. Second. Third. Okay. That's disgusting. <laughs> This thing uh, lost some gear oil in the process, so we're trying to fill it back up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you got a kick out of it, at least. So the next problem I'm going to work on is the pedal has always been right at the top. Like, it feels like it's almost going to slip the clutch. And this rod is pushing on that, and I think it needs to have a little more slack. Well, the threads are totally stuck, so I'm going to have to heat this thing up to adjust a little bit shorter to put less pressure on the clutch pedal. Oh my gosh. Is it gone out? Yeah. The heat always fixes it, don't it, Ralphie? Yeah. Man, that's funny. Every time you heat something up, it just like completely frees it up. We we tried with this. Remember when we worked on it like six months ago, Ralphie, trying to fix this? Yeah. It would not turn at all. You're off of it? Yeah. Completely? Yes. It flips on. Okay. I'm going to lock it down there for now. Okay. Lay down flat so you don't dent up the thing. Distribute your weight. Oh. Oh, yeah. You getting it? Yeah. The CLR's turning green. I'm going ahead and greasing these U-joints while I'm under here. Uh, who knows when they were greased last. Ooh. Okay. Well, we got that out. So we don't have the... Uh, 
column shifter. It's a different. I thought it had like a pin you knocked out, but it's got like a spring loaded pin thing there. It's kind of cool. Okay. I don't know where the hole is. Is this a happy moment for you? Yes. Your shifter's in? Yes. Mom hasn't even got to rip on the shifter yet. I know. Get over here, Mom. Look at that thing. Bam. What do you think? It's, awesome. it's pretty buttery smooth, isn't it? I expect it to be clunkier than what it is. We might as well go ahead and tighten up the steering box. Well, it doesn't feel that bad right there. We got that much. I'll give it a little bit. So what you do to tighten these steer racks up is loosen this 11 16th jam nut, which we already did. Give this whatever. I don't know what the proper spec is. We'll give it a half a turn or so and see how that feels. How's it feel now? Good. A lot less slop? It's not really slop. Feel it. It's like tight. Feel it. Well, hopefully that'll help. Oh, yeah. It's like hardly any now, huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's funny, you can totally just stay under there, huh? I figured out that our dirt dauber canister here on the exhaust no longer had a hanger. So I went ahead and fixed that the right way with a coat hanger from inside the house. So we should be good to go for another 100,000. Look at that. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. But we do need to let it overlap probably two, three inches like that. I'm trying to leave like three inches or so everywhere. Sometimes you stick the glue down and then you realize you don't have it exactly straight. So I don't want to do that. So this is just like contact, cement, whatever, upholstery, adhesive. I think it's all about the same stuff. So you put a coat on this and the back of the fabric, let it tack up for a minute or so. And wherever you put it is where it stands. Okay, is this good? That's a little much, Mom. Good. good? Yeah. Those on my side. We were close on mine, but we got a little bit. Press firmly, so probably put your hand under it because it's not on a good table. It still looks so good, isn't it? That'll be awesome. I like how it feels kind of like fur, doesn't it? Yeah. So I did not put any glue on the back side. So we're going to glue the back side here and do our edges real quick. So I'm going to cut these corners so we can kind of overlap them. I'm not a professional interior guy, so let's go with what seems like will work. You go get it. <laughs> so we gave it a minute there to tack up. Try not to wad it up anywhere. Really would be great to have this on a table if we had an empty table around here. So that's one thing about newer car headliners. They used to fold them over like this back in the Dizzy. And at some point, they started flush cutting them. And that's when headliners started falling down more rapidly. Mm. All right, I think we got it done. Are you so excited for it? Let's cut it in. I'm so excited. <laughs> what, what's going on here? Rainbow. Oh, look at you. How cute. Hopefully we did it right, huh? <laughs> I'm going to be so good. Rate it. One out of ten. Oh, it's gonna be a 10. 10, for sure. This is a 10. I've ever seen one. It is beautiful. Is it just how you imagined it's it? It's just how I imagined it, and I love that this is white. Again, something looks great with a white trim or cream, whatever you call it. Looks great. Perfect. This is basically Pimp My Ride now. This is Pimp My Ride, Sleeper Dude style. You are gonna be riding in style. I'm at so the Dollar excited. Gentral now. Dollar Gentral, here I come. Ralphie, do you like the shifter better or the headliner? Yeah. Well, that fits it good, but I love it. You love the shifter? It's really smooth. It's so smooth. And I just want to cover this seat because this this is like really prickly. Yeah. Like it hurts. <laughs> yeah. It's so prickly. Well, it looks great, honey. We did good, I think. But it's time to go inside. Oh, what are you posting? I Calm down. Oh, Mom. she's posting already. We're all tired, so we will get back at this tomorrow. We are back. 
It's the next day. Wawa hasn't seen the headliner. Oh my gosh, I love it. It looks great. You love it? Yeah, mom did a good job. So we have got to continue getting some stuff done to this thing. I gotta get these headlights working. That's important. Yes, that's very important. We gotta clean the gas tank out. Yes. You're gonna do stuff with it. I don't know if we're gonna get like professionally done at this video or if we're gonna have to like just lay it over it. Like maybe later, maybe me and Wawa could do some cut and sewing. You don't think I can do cut and sewing? Um, I just haven't seen you behind a sewing machine before. I I'm not sure. I see what you're saying. <laughs> so I've been working on these headlights, and the deal here appears to be we are actually getting power to the red wire when they're on, but we're not getting full voltage. We're only getting like four volts. So I'm probably going to wire in a relay, I think, because a lot of these are powered through like the headlight switch, and they'll have low voltage. If you... Use the headlight switch just to trigger a relay and get your power straight from the battery. It'll work better, so I think I'm gonna do that. So we went ahead and plugged in both our headlights. We got them kind of dangling there. We're gonna try it again this morning. We didn't have any luck with this one yesterday. Wow, okay. Well, what's different? Are the, is the other one working? Yeah, they're both working. Well, it must have been some sort of short in the switch because they weren't working yesterday at all. Well, apparently, we just needed to fiddle with that switch a little bit. Okay, well, let's get these things installed. I thought I was going to have to wire in a relay. I was getting ready to do that. It's funny that they'll just plop right in where the factory ones were. These are LEDs, Ralpho. Yeah. Well, that's easy enough to install, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh sniper. Oh, sniper nothing. So while I was going to work on our seat here, cutting some of these really pokey, this is, this is really hard plastic and it's very... Uh, pointed and pokey. So we're gonna cut some of those off there so we can get to doing something with a seat. See if they work. No? It's not the lot. It's something to do with our power supply. We try this, hold on. Hey, 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 there they are. They working now? Yep. Maybe our dimmer switch or I something. Say, is is that, that bright or dim? Well, there's that's, that's dim. dim. That's, that's bright. That's bright. They are super bright, aren't they? Yeah, yes. Because really I when I turned the old headlights on, I never did really even see uh -uh. anything up there. That's awesome. I wonder who peeled that paint with the pressure washer. <laughs> Has Dolly been any help today? No help whatsoever. But she hasn't fainted yet, so that's good. Not yet. So you're cutting all the rough stuff off just, the old cover? Yeah, just the part that pokes. Pokes really, I, I got a fragile behind. <laughs> Hand hammer. Oh, it's on This thing's terribly heavy. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a chicken. Oh, Lord. Did it get all over you, too? Yes. Scooter got so scared. How is it not fell down yet? Scooty. Yeah, he was so oh, I guess scared. it did come down, didn't it? It's on the jack. Oh, yeah. I hope this tank is salvageable. So, me and Wawa are going to attempt to cover these seats. We got it we smoothed might, out. And we might actually have to hold these up and tuck it in there. Probably so. I think we've got everything loose now. Let's see if we can. I don't know what's holding this there. Shouldn't be anything to it. it. Must not be full, huh? Here, pull it your way. I can't really. There's a frame here. Oh, it smells weird. You smell it? Yeah. Our factory spare hanger is gonna be maybe in our way here of getting this down. Exhaust is in the way. Well, it needs to come your way a lot. So it's not professional, but it is better. It does look good. So that's all. We have enough material. Yeah, I have extra. So. We do cover it correctly. Yeah, we, at some point we need to sew it just like it would be, you know? I'll probably have to take oh, yeah. a class on sewing before I can do that. Oh, though. yeah. But yeah. It's looking a lot better. Love it! Yeah. They broke the nut loose on the back side. And it's one of those like spring clips with a nut in it. So we we're probably going to have to cut the spare carrier out from underneath here. Yeah. 
Maybe that'll get us enough room to get down there. I'll probably cut the other side too. Shimmy, come on, shimmy. You're getting there. I think, maybe. Ralphie just simply can't wait to put the, It cannot drive without yeah, the, the trailer, trailer hitch ball. ball. Right, hit it. What? Right. Oh. What? Look, the hole's not big enough. You're telling me. So, see if you have any other ones that have a or much smaller a drill. hole. drill. You got a drill bit that big? Maybe. Come on, be the one. Wrong threads. What are you going to tow with this again? Who knows? I can see this now going to the livestock sale. You don't need to pour it. That's what I told you at the very beginning. Right, that's, it's coming now. You hear it change sounds? <laughs> there we go. Come on. I got the cylinder to break loose. It don't have much fuel on it, if any. Oh, good. Yeah. Look at the smell on this thing. Get it done. I did something super sketchy and I didn't even realize it when I did it. What? When I was cutting that With spare the hanger off. Look what I did. Cut a hole uh, all the way through it. So we're going to have to JB weld that up just a little bit. I'm glad it didn't blow on me. That could have been bad. You might. Dad. I'm trying to work here. Dad, I was sitting here first. Give me a little room. But it's just... Brittle beans. Could you have gotten closer? He likes to go from a distance. Oh, Should you smell okay. it? Anybody else smell it mm -hmm. to me? Yeah, smell it. Oh, guys. What's the sending you look like? We don't want to have to buy a gas tank and sending you in it. It is my truck. And you are a spender, McSpenderton. Uh, uh, it's a seal. Ooh. A rubber seal's about shot. Silicone. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, it keeps getting worse. Look, the sending unit is no good. Oh, God. There's supposed to be a float right here. It's like caramelized onions. What? Pick your end up. Even me. Oh. Ooh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna run off that. It won't hurt that bad because she's not doing it with her back piece. We're working on a Ford truck today, and I need a sending unit. Look how bright black that fuel is. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Fuel filters. Just needed more fuel filters, that's all we need. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know how we're gonna get all that cleaned out because no, place is tank. we've been trying to dump it out. Not working very well, so. It's got so much stuff in it. I'm cut a hole in it. Please, it's a good new one. Ew, I scraped it. I'll work extra hard this week. Since you're fancy, I went ahead and ordered the new tank and it's like twice the capacity. So it's supposed to be a 38 gallon tank. Look. Lala has spotted a stink bug on that oh, mirror. Yeah. It is in full. Yeah. Oh. oh my God, jeez. Jeez. <laughs> you okay? You okay? <laughs> she does not like bugs at all. For some reason, O'Reilly's doesn't offer the factory capacity tank. I don't know why, but we got the bigger tank ordered, so we'll have a new sending unit. We'll have to do a little, I think we had to cut it and lengthen the sending unit a little bit. Oh Lord. And I think it comes with longer bolts. So your factory straps can work. But okay. you can go twice as far on the tank of gas yeah. now. I guess we're just kind of waiting on that now, aren't we? Uh, only thing I can think of is putting the smoke big in. Ralphie has been waiting for this moment his whole life. I've told him stories about putting this in a car up in Gatlinburg, my Nova. And ever since then, he's like, Dad, can we put smoke big on? I'm like, it doesn't smoke, son. This one smokes a little bit. Just because she smokes. Don't make she broke. All right, let's put it in there and we'll wait for our gas tank to come in tomorrow. Watch. Oh, the bubble. That does. <laughs> salute the salute. Oh, smoke oh, be gone. Let me, let me open it. Did you want me to open it? 
She knows how to open those cans of smoke be going. This ain't her first rodeo. Why don't you just turn it up and we'll see how long it takes yeah. to pour out. Yeah. Put okay, you better get, get closer than that. Uh, I was just gonna do it. Uh, it's like honey. Maybe she's name is Truck Honey. We're gonna be twisting the oil pump drive shaft off this oh, thing this, this winter. That's what happens sometimes. Put too thick of oil in it. Do you feel like your life is fulfilled now, Ralphie? Yes. Do you think this is going to cure all smoke? Yes. Well, there you go, guys. It doesn't. You it heard it here. You heard it here first. Just Bob all the smoke be gone, and she's gone. Isn't it funny? Like it, it's filling up the valve cover hole and not even draining. Hey, watch. Oh, don't do that. Watch your aim, son. Now I know who went to the bathroom before me. How did you spill something that thick? Well, I, I like push squeeze it. it really hard. Oh, push it in. We're gonna blow through the fuel line, see what comes out. Oh Lord, move your hands. It might like blow fluid out. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Yeah. It sprayed all the way to the Circle K sign. The hose is down there. It sprayed right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, it circle stinks K. like crazy, yeah. doesn't it? Look all over the circle case. I'm surprised it had fuel in it because we weren't pulling from that. A ton. You can't eat a hose plant, Dolly. Man, they built this truck for a hog leg motor because three eighths fuel line. That's right. Get it done, son. <laughs> I just love these clear fuel filters. They just obviously we have. They they let you know what's going on. We have boxes of them around here. Yeah, we buy them in bulk around here. Look, how do you get a screwdriver? It's been ground down flat on one side. I have no idea. Would that's, I drive on it? I don't for say a while? that's been drugged. So I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow evening when these parts come in. You always you, go make fun of me. Did you get me a gas tank? <laughs> I did. And put it on top of your potato chips? So you think it's right? It better be. Well, it came in a day late, so it ought to be. A day late and dollar short. They told us Story four o'clock. They told us seven o'clock. They told us uh, four, four o'clock. Then it came in at noon. So anyway, this has been two days now. Look how much bigger this one is. <laughs> it's so big. This is the only thing O'Reilly's offered that we could get quickly. And we're gonna have to modify our sending unit to make it work. But it came with all the hardware, the longer bolts and stuff to lengthen this. So we're gonna look at our instructions to get all that sorted out. It does come with like an extension tube for this, but when I read into it, I'm supposed to cut it up here and then solder this in. I'll just tell you, I don't have the stuff here to solder this. So using the tube they sent, I made one out of steel. I think I might weld this on there since we don't have solder stuff. We gotta get some solder stuff. It's just not in the envelope, you know, to get that solder stuff. So this shows taking the bend out of the sitting unit and making it just completely straight for whatever reason. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. I guess I'm gonna cut my brand new $90 sitting unit. Oh Lord. Yeah, I know, right? I hate to do this, but hey, Living that 38 gallon life. It's gonna be at that angle right there. Something is on fire. Ooh, is that steel wool? I didn't know steel wool was flammable. That's funny. Well, I think we got it welded there. Uh, we gave her the good eyeball look. You think it's gonna work? Yeah. Look how well it's getting. <laughs> <laughs> that seems so janky. Let's see if she fits in here. That's like the longest sending unit I've ever messed with. We'll have to sell plasma to get enough money to fill up the tank. I know. Only thing you'll have to stop for is Paul Malls now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right exactly where it needs to be. What's this guy doing? What are you doing, Ralphie? It's funny, this is 5 sixteenths, and then the line on the truck is 3 eighths. That's ridiculous. That's the only one I can find, too. Why are you putting that crusher thing back on? Do you have a new one I can put on? Well, I should have. Oh. Why didn't you buy a new one for it? That looks awful. Where's that guy come from? I think it's the same frog from Hi. yesterday. Come here, you little booger. That was the one that we saw the other day. You little booger. So I'm just going to put a heater hose here. I'm sure that'll work fine. I thought you are being sarcastic. Yeah, I am. This is made for water. It'll barely fit under the bumper. Okay, we're not trying to 
trying to press it in place. We're trying to just hold it up. What's she doing? Good girl. I see you over there. Come on. What are you doing, Rocky? He's waiting on us to open the Hi. gate. He didn't say nothing. He's been no. rubbing up against the gate. Hi, buddy. So it's got all these spacers and stuff for the bolts. So it just spaces your factory straps down lower. So we even have a floor jack under this and our bolt is not reaching. I don't know if our tank hasn't went up all the way or if the bolts they sent us were the wrong length. But either way, it's not reaching that. It's picking the truck up. Maybe a half inch more this tank could go up. I guess it's hitting this cross member. But I still don't think that's gonna be even enough. Pump on the jack some, Ralph. You want me to get on this side and kick it towards the front? <laughs> hey, we've got two jacks on it now. I think we're getting some work. I think it's gonna be just, maybe just barely enough. Yeah, I think it can barely catch a thread there. She ain't coming out. No, you don't have to worry about coming out. Man, they didn't give you any extra on this. Can it just bend the strap to make it work? Yeah. Look at that. How much that went down, how much pressure we had on it. Oh, goodness. It's okay. What'd you find? Huh? Here, I'll get you some. Cause you're such a good boy. I think we finally got it. Man, that took a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, it did. It was good that one time. Yeah, one time, long time ago, maybe. We've looked high and low, and this is the only gas can we have that has gas in it here. So we are gonna have to go buy some gas. We go through some gas cans, don't Man, we? Yeah, we do. So we got like 0.5 of a gallon in there. That only needs 38 more. Uh, we're Please tell me you're not going to fill this whole gas tank up. No, I can't afford to fill it up. Okay. But we'll probably put at least 10 or 15 gallons in it, though. Okay. So we'll have to go to the gas station and get some more gas for this thing. That's probably going to be tomorrow, as you can see. I don't even know. I bet gas stations where we live, they're probably already closed by now. Or it's, it's you know, and, and take your life in your own hands if you go there. That's true. <laughs> Rocky, it's your bedtime. What are you still I'm doing I'm surprised up? he's still functioning. Usually... He's like tucked in. Come on, I'll put you in bed. Come on. That's hilarious. He was ready for bed, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he was. He didn't want to be in here anymore. Too late He's for him. done. Good morning. And we're going to put some fuel in this thing. It only cost me $100 to go fill up the gas can. If you get 10 miles to the gallon, you could go almost 400 miles in this thing. That wouldn't get me to the beach, though, would it? Probably not a beach within 400 miles, no. <laughs> I guess your spare gun had to be in the bed of the truck or something. I, don't I mean, know. you don't get the extra horsepower without the sticker. Oh, it's crooked. <laughs> See, that's guaranteed 20 horses right there. Oh, Lord. You did get a major, major bubble in that. Shut up. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> You're not nice to me. <laughs> Are you ready to drive this thing? Yeah. You going to drive it out of the shop or, or me? I'll do it. You got this? Yeah. You're so fancy now. Hey, pump the gas. Remember, it's carbureted. Pump the gas. Not like that, honey. Listen, we're not pumping up a bicycle casing. Pump it up. I like twice, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, not. Sorry. You don't have to press that either, though. Jesus, Lord, can I do this? Okay, just go. Here we go. I'm Oh, it's over? Oh. Let me see. Hold on. Look in your mirror. Not in here. Oh, there we are. 
there's no ramps. I don't know if she remembers that. Go, give it some gas. Jeez, I need some power steering. Does look good with the hubcaps. Yeah, it's not a turn. I can see the camper top shaking already. Watch out, chickens. Watch out, papers. Look at my idol. Yeah, we need to look at your idol, huh? Make me go fast. We don't need any help with that, do we? Hear it. Let me get a screwdriver. We'll fix that. You need to train, girl. Well, you might need to train. You need to train. You could even you need to take pointers. Do you need to take pointers. He said I might be able to shift it from first to second. She's getting it on first. Yeah, I know. I'll rescue her. It was your choke. My choke. The choke. The choke is what's making it idle too high. Let's see. I don't see any smoke clouds, do you? It's not nearly as bad as it was. No, it was like, you could see. Um, it's not very really loud. You wanna drive it? Here, you give it a rev. I, I wanna get in the car. Mom wants me to give it a rip here and see how it does. Squeeze wants to ride. Okay. Watch out for the floor, it's gonna hold. We gotta get some road signs, huh? Oh, this is nice. So mom says the clutch is kinda Real hot. Yeah, it's just like you can keep on going. Like. That's a little better than it was, I, I think. All right, no more birdhouses. We gotta watch the birdhouses here. It may need a clutch at some point. Smooth, don't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, we yeah, can't turn this thing around in here. <laughs> oh, it died on us. Wow. Uh, I may have the idle set too low now. That clutch takes some getting used to, for sure. Man, it feels like driving the old farm truck when I was a kid. We always had like four speed diesel farm trucks. What is that noise? That's squealing. I don't know, it's kind of funny. I don't know what that is either. I'm sure it'll make itself known at some point. Whatever it is. We need to get this thing out in the road, huh? Yeah, might have trash in the filter. Maybe. Uh, it's a new tank. This thing right here, I love the shifter. I love shifting these like long throw. What did you think about the clutch? It's better than it was. I don't know if you remember how it was, but it, it was like right at the top. This is close to the top. We may need to adjust a little bit more. We need to get it out in the road, though. What do I smell burning? You hey, smell Christian. that? Yeah, I smelled it before. It's smoking less, isn't it? It is smoking way less. That's what happens. The Smoke rings kind of do their thing. Opposite. Yeah. We're going to take her down the road. If you're wondering where Wawa is, she's too cool for school. She's with the next door neighbor girl hanging out, so she's too cool for us today. Yeah, they're good friends. This doesn't be good to get the flatten out the cow patties in the field, you know? Oh, my. Be real good for that. What we say it was 16 years since this thing's been on the road, so let's find out if there was any other issues. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, back on the road. Oh, oh my gosh, the steering is like... Yeah, I know. It, it works. It's not sloppy, but it's like you got to do a bunch of these before it even does anything. Second, you want to go to third, Ralph, and we're in second. Straight back. Woo. Well, it has all its gears. That's the first time we've been in second or third. This is a big haul. It is pretty big, isn't it? Oh, Mike, Mike's home. Mike the neighbor. Hey! <laughs> Mike the neighbor, always supportive. He's a great guy. Hopefully we don't break down because we don't have a chase vehicle today. 
That would be unfortunate. We got Mike the neighbor. I'll have to call Mike again. He'll have to rescue us. Man, I do love this headliner and seat cover and shifter. We'll have to wait till it's dark sometime to use these retro bright LED headlights, huh? Yeah. I went down to just a second. This feels just like driving the old farm truck. It's like Green Acres, isn't it? Like this long throw on the shifter is just exactly what I'm used to with the farm trucks. Third. Feels like you just ran out of fuel. What it's feeling like. I mean, my neighbor is just a few, few miles down the road. <sighs> Bad time to go out without a chase vehicle. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, hey, let me I'm look into this. Did we ever put a fuel pump on this? I'm going to bet money we never did. No, we didn't. I am going to bet that our fuel pump is probably not what it should be. <sighs> Think we can get it back home? I mean, I don't think the hole in the floorboard is big enough for me to pedal with my feet. Oh, man. What, how do you want to get home? I mean, will it start? I don't know. I don't even have a way to put fuel down the car or anything. I didn't bring nothing with me. <laughs> oh, man. Great. Okay. Uh, what? I hope it starts what? and runs enough to get Wrong it back one. home. If it starts, I'll jump out and get the rock. No, I can drive over it. Oh, okay. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. to that place oh, we were. Well, this is the place we know is Bull's house. That's fine. Ooh. Okay, it's looking like she ain't gonna make it back home. Maybe I can get it turned around. I wonder if it'll just limp back home. I just don't know. I think we should. I can't see the ditch. I got one shot at this and I can't see it. You're good. Don't cut it too much more, but I'm not, do you, I need to get out and push here. I'll push. Am I good on your side? Yeah. At least it's close to home. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, yeah. California. Well, we will, we never got to California on that trip. I know. I'm just saying, at least we're not in California. Mike's got a gas can. Well, it's not. It's not out of gas. It's just it's not pumping gas. I don't know what the best thing to do is, but I don't want to get stuck in the middle of the road. What do you think? I say we walk. We walk. I want to walk. We I ain't walk. leaving it here and walking. I know. Well, well, we could limp it. If I had to jump out and push every so often I could. Well, is there big hills? Where I, I knew I married you for a reason. <laughs> I could stay out and push. I can run. No, you're not pushing. A, I can run faster than you. Be it's quiet. not about that. It's not about that. It's a strongness. Well, we've decided we're going to try a chance to make it home. If I can maybe keep it running, but I think we definitely have. Why didn't it do this in the yard? So I don't understand. I uh, don't know. Maybe, maybe the fuel pump just start, stopped working. Maybe. Hot, right, here we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Put it in second. Coasting. That's all right. We're good. We're good. 
how far can we get? It is coasting like really good. Come on, girl. I'll pop the clutch when we get over the needing to get over a hill or something. Come on. Come on, girl. Make it home. Come on. See, I pump it, it kind of runs for a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Are we running? I don't think we got nothing. We got to get in the ditch here. Okay, well, we're in the ditch on the side of the road. Let's call Mike. Hey, Mike. You remember that time you rescued us off the side of the road? <laughs> if we had a way to put gas down in the car, where I think I could might could make it home, but I probably couldn't get in there with just a gas can. I mean, I got one in our car if I could just get back to the house. All right, thank you. How are we broke down again? <laughs> I'm not riding anywhere else with you. It did good at our house. I'm just glad this road doesn't have a ton of traffic, you know? I know, at least we're, think, in the, we're in the ditch. So I think I could try it one more time here and see what it does. What do you think? Sure. I don't think it's got enough fuel to do anything, honestly. Might as well just try to get off the road farther, huh? So we don't get hit. We need to count on how many times we broke down the side of the road. <laughs> At least we have a good neighbor, huh? Yeah, for sure. At least we're close to the house this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. It's not 1,260 it's not, miles. Tractor trailers zooming by, going like this. Yeah, this is the nice thing about living in the country is you break down out here and there's not many, we haven't seen a single car yet. What would we do without Mike? I don't know. I think I gotta put them on payroll. Your key's still on. Oh, yeah. Here, Here comes a car. Don't mind us. Mike's gonna block your number. He is gonna block my number. I just wanna say, my clutch brake gas foot it was wore you, out. You, you would have your clutch, then you'd have your brake, and <laughs> pumping the gas with your heel. <laughs> it was two step in the way. It was tough. I'm glad I was the one driving because. Oh, I'd have done been like. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, stop right in the middle of the road. <laughs> we can take this time to admire your headliner. It's beautiful. It's so oh, nice. We're going to have so plenty sweet. of time to check out your headliner now. It's beautiful. Mikey. He's coming to rescue us. <laughs> hey, Mike. So close. Oh, man. We, we broke down down right? there. We made about halfway back. I think your car died. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ride back with you real quick. I think our fuel pump doesn't work. Uh, we've never put a fuel pump on it and they usually go out from sitting. But hey, thanks again for coming and getting hey, us. that's what I'm here for. I was all excited when I see you go by. Oh, but I don't have... Well, thank you for saving me again. I guess I'll tow her home with this. See ya. <laughs> all right, I'm going to save them in the kid hauler here. We got a tow strap. We can get this thing back home. Probably if I fill the bowls up with fuel, I might can make it, but I don't want a chance getting broke down again. <laughs> I'll turn around and you can drive this one. <laughs> Man, I can't say enough good things about Mike. He is a good helper. Everybody needs a neighbor like Mike. Sorry about <laughs> this. Give us gas in it. I know what's wrong with it. I ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> That's true. Look at that mullet blown in the wind. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, don't jerk my head off again. Yeah, she is getting better at it. Yeah, go for it. Here we go, guys. Ooh. It's your mother, so expect some harshness here. I can feel like big girl back here. Man, this thing runs so quiet right now. Uh, well, here we are again. <laughs> it was just a couple days ago that I was being towed by the same vehicle. And Mike had the same scenario played out with the Super Coupe. At least this thing has manual brakes and steering, so it doesn't have to be running. Oh, slack, slack. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Well, it made it home, just not under our own power. <laughs> you probably had 100% faith we were going to make it too, didn't you? Yes. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it would break down this one. You know what this means? What? More upgrades for mom's track. Maybe we should do like fuel pump carb intake. Cam, I don't know Springs. What cam about that, but the other sounds other good stuff. to me. Man, I really did not think 
that uh, that would happen. Well, guys, what can we say? This wasn't how we wanted to end it off, but it's just how it happens. It's real life. Sometimes you break down. Luckily, uh, we got back home with this one, though. But remember, pour one out for your homies. Eat your bourbon barbecue vainas. Drink your RC colas. Right, Rocky? Look, he heard it. He's ready. He's ready. He heard it crack open, didn't he? Everybody needs a neighbor like Mike. You know? Mike is the best. Mike is the best neighbor. Here you go, Ellie. Man, she is good about getting those. I really like how it all turned out. We probably just need a fuel pump. I mean, everything else in the fuel exactly. system basically already been replaced. Here, baby birds. Oh. So we'll get a fuel pump. Maybe we'll get an intake and carburetor for it and get it running, yeah. you know, a little more hog leg, right? Yeah. You didn't even get to drive it out in the road. Hey, that's okay. I drive it at the yard. All right, Mom, here you go. Oh, gosh. Come on, honey. Here, Ellie. Where'd Squeezy what? go? Oh. What happened? What happened to that I don't one? Know. It didn't look like it popped open. I know. We will be working on this again, I'm sure. I try to buy vehicles that don't break down on us like she does, you know? When have you ever bought something that didn't break down? Hey, we haven't had trouble with a first drive video until this. This is the first, first drive where we had a breakdown. I don't think that's accurate. I guess this is the second drive because we did drive around the yard, but first road drive we had a breakdown. But thank you as always for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So thank you to everyone who watches. Everybody who does the super thanks. We really appreciate all that stuff. Thank you to Holly for helping us out yes. with the prices on the shifter and retro bright headlights. Get some of those if you don't have some. It'll help you out if you drive your old car around at night. You can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You. you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. And we don't have a website. Don't go looking for it. Exactly. Good job, please. Our t-shirts and stuff are down below. Hoodies. Are hoodies down there? There's hoodies. Come on. Leggings for the ladies. Get in on it. Jeggings. It's no. catching on. Look at Vainia. Vainia is at the fence waiting. Oh, Vainia. If you can see, Vainia is at the fence waiting on her RC Cola. But we will see you guys in the next video. We really appreciate you watching. Put in the comments below what we should do this track. I think we should lower it, honestly. I think I like lower vehicles. Raise it. Mark is trying to put a roof. You know, a $15, $20 fuel pump looks like what got us on this one. We'll get back on it. Yeah. It's been fun. All right, let's go give Vanya her RC code. First, who cut the cheese? What's you. up with you and the cheese stuff, dude? I don't know. I just thought it. Bye. Yeah, she knows. She knows what we're doing over here. No video would be complete. Look at that. Look at poor Grace. She didn't get any Vainas. I'm sorry. Poor thing. I'm sorry. There you go, girl. Mmm. I don't think I even got any RC cola this time. I think you did. You just don't remember. Okay, come on. <laughs> Tell my. Oh, oh, finally got her. She had to get her mind off that RC Cola first. Mini pig? I think not. Who cut the cheese? <laughs> the cheese. Like you just invented this or something. Oh, Lord. Who <laughs> slash it? Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the block of cheddar has been cut. Jeez. Bye. 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 Apparently, there was some uh, rust left in the line, even though we blew it out. And that's all we got. We got a little bit of roofing tar down the bottom of that. Is about all we got left. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong with it? I ain't got no gas in it. <laughs>